I was diagnosed with fallopian tube cancer in November of 2016, uh, which is a subsection or subcategory of, of ovarian cancers. It's a really rare form of cancer. About two women in every million are ever diagnosed with it. And um, through my process of chemo and treatments, I met up with a, a woman whose name was Stephanie Hess. And she was a part of this group, o OCRA, of Survivors Teaching Students. And so she introduced me to the group and it really felt like a place where I could make some good come from the, the cancer story, right? And the, the cancer, I don't know, part of my life. So with Survivors Teaching Students, the way that the, that the program is set up is we, a group of us a, in Salt Lake, there's a, a group of about 12 of us women who are all part of this Ovarian Cancer Research Alliance. We have, we'll meet with third year medical students. So we'll contract out with different universities in the area and we'll meet with third year medical students once a quarter or every six weeks. It, it could be either six to 12 weeks. And we'll go in and do a presentation of what our symptoms are, what our stories are. We'll, we'll be able to share, there'll be four or five of us at a time, and we'll go in and we'll share what our stories are, um, what the symptoms were that we experienced, what the signs were that we experienced, um, what our experience was with doctors, um, and just really kind of give ovarian cancer that human touch and, and give the students an opportunity to learn in a way that's different than just a textbook. The signs of ovarian cancer are fairly common signs, which is why they typically go undetected. It is um, feeling full fast. Like you eat a grape and you feel like you've just had like a five course dinner or um, abdominal pain or indigestion or feeling like that you need to go to the bathroom all the time or feeling like that you have a, a sudden urge to go to the bathroom. So there's signs that are typical for every woman and it could be where you feel like you're in your time of the month, you know, you're menstruating and, and that's going to happen. But if these are persistent and a change from the normal, then that can be a, a sign of ovarian cancer for sure. So far, we've taught thousands of students in, in the Utah area, but we're a national organization. We help people all over the, the nation. Um, and everyone, all the doctors that go through it say that they just love it and that they, they like the learning uh, portion of it. They like how it's a different learning technique. So it's hopefully getting the word out and spreading the word so that more doctors are then aware of what these symptoms are too. So if they have somebody that comes to them, they can refer them as quickly as they can to a gynecological oncologist. Uh, that makes the, a huge difference when women actually are working with a gynoc to be able to help um, with disease progression too.